Hey, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Aesop Grimm here, and this is the continuation of my playthrough of Crusader Kings 3. Very, very lax playthrough for the months of November and December of 2024. And uh, we are the Count of Santiago. We are currently assisting our father-in-law who has declared war on the Count of Monterey because the Count of Monterey is a scumbag that keeps trying to sleep with everybody's wives. We caught him scaling our castle walls in the middle of a war. A two-front war, actually. We were facing our father, and the Kingdom of Asturias was being attacked. And um, that didn't work out for him, but it turns out that he successfully, evidently, developed a relationship with this woman, Nora Burguzid. Burguzid. What makes her important? Well, she's the wife of this guy, Vermudo Gatones del Bierzo, who is what? The son and heir to our father-in-law, the younger brother of our wife, son and heir to our father-in-law, Count Gaton. So, war has been declared. We are on our way. We have more troops than him. We're going to win this fight. Better army commander, more soldiers. Let's go ahead and get on with it. We got an axe to grind against this dude anyway, and we love our father-in-law, who's been of great help to us practically single-handedly pretty much he did single-handedly won this war against our own natural father who betrayed us and attacked us okay so we win that fight pretty easily we have a maximum of 18 months left on this siege. Okay, uh, what else can I do here? I had to pa I had to mute my mic there for a minute. Sorry, guys. That's why we didn't have very much commentary. Uh, we're working on getting control back of Twi, and then we will get control back of Santiago. We're trying to create the Duchy of Galicia, but we need 250 gold for it, which I don't have yet. Over here under... Well, let me check council. Uh, we're working on swaying our wife. When we're done with that, when she's at 100, we'll move on to the bishop. And under here, for courtiers, we can hire a tutor... And it says that the... Oh, they're all poor. Uh... Well, it's going to be one of these two guys. Yeah. So do I want to focus on stewardship? I think I do. Stewardship and intrigue? No. No, actually, I, I want to take the Marshal with eight in stewardship. So, Vermuda Pereira, Pereira will be appointed as the court tutor. Okay, how are things going here? We're being attacked again. We destroyed them. Okay. Our spouse can help somebody with their skills. I already know that it's my bishop that needs it the most. His learning is only nine. So, uh, we'll pick that and that moves him up to ten. Uh, or, excuse me, twelve. Hey, enemy combatants captured. Ponce. Maximum of seven months left on this siege. We're at a 50% war score. Ooh. Our king lost his war against the peasants. You can pay homage or petition the king because we're not at war. The kingdom is not at war. Four months. It's trying to trip over to three months. Bam. 
less than 40 days. So because they're suffering um, bad events right now. A band of several hundred pale-skinned Sakaliba, enslaved men and women from the eastern reaches of Europe, have escaped the realm of my acquaintance Amir Adonis. Talk as he may about how treasured they were in his armies and his harem, they have braved many dangers to seek freedom in my land. We all have scars, their leader Vishatha tells me, on our bodies or deep inside, but we are strong and determined. We long for some land of our own where we can speak our ancestral tongue. If you let us settle in the city of Batanzos, we would work hard to make it prosper. Okay. Here's the thing. If you accept them, they, they become the de facto mayor of that city. And they will give us plus 10% holding taxes and plus 5 defender advantage. I'm telling you right now, that's pretty good. Right? But I'm going to role play it and say that we could be made up of a whole bunch of ethnicities, but we have to be one culture. And you speaking your own tongue in that in that city, like as like the primary thing that don't mesh, you know, so I'm going to say I'm not going to take this one either. Uh, well, hold on. Mm, he's Muslim. No, not good enough. We're going to send him back to his master. I'm going to engage incur 25 stress because of that but I should be able to demand payment okay so we can form that duchy now I don't want to do it yet I want to wait till this war's over valuable prisoner captured Oh, this guy's the count now. Because his dad was slain in battle. Nice. So he died during the siege. And now his son, who is our captive. I think it said that we captured him. Well, I would have ransomed him anyway. I, I just had an axe to grind against his dad. So, we'll go with so be it. And we'll take our armies and go back home to Santiago. And we will create the Duchy of Galicia. We're a duke. Arrange a marriage. Let's... Uh, leave those for now. Oh, oh, well. Okay, my brother-in-law wants to be married to my mom. You're 21 years old. Bro, no. I'm surprised this chick didn't get executed. Uh, this seems weird. I'm going to decline. Here, but so our mom's not all terribly lonely and stuff. I mean, she's only 44. She is ill. Oh, she's got consumption. We better wait and see if she gets over that first. Then I'll try to find somebody nice for her. Okay, looks like the Duchess has been swayed. She's at plus 100. We can begin to sway our bishop. I don't know what made him drop from 33 to 17. Prisoner taken. Oh, he's wandering. Okay, so prisoner no more. Well, who owns Monterey? Oh, he took the county. Okay, so it was a claim. It was a fight for the title. Oh, good for you. You've dispossessed his entire household. <laughs> 
That's funny. Oh, man. We got 300 stewardship lifestyle. Man, patronage is the way to go. All right, let's disband all. And we will go pay homage. Um... Or friends, I think all we gotta do is demonstrate submission. All right, there's five high chances of danger. I need a caravan master. Gosh, there's not very many good people. Three and two mediums. What are the high ones? Uh, isn't it supposed to tell me what kinds of... Here we go. Forest. Uh, Highland Warriors. Gosh, it's something different every place. That sucks. What about mercenary guards? What will that do for me? Two and three... Uh, oh, there we go. Four medium. Let's go. I'm down to nine gold. Whoa. All packed and proper, we have finally come to the point where we can start our journey from Santiago to our next destination at Asturias de Oviedo. As we depart from the holding and our mounts start treading new ground, I am certain we will return soon and in one piece. Okay. I'm in a Regency. Ah, Grant Vassal. That's what I was wait waiting for. So Count Gaton is now my vassal. Uh, Cicinato is in charge of our food supplies and sheepishly revealed our provisions are now all but useless, having been poorly stored. Patches of mold cover the bread and produce, and we have quickly used up our remaining dried food. The party grows hungry as dusk begins to fall. Uh, it's just a bit of mold. 40% chance that we get sick. Nature will provide for us. 93% chance you find some forage and nothing happens. That seems really good. 3% chance you die. We'll take that. It's, I guess it's a learning child. Oh, we have learning. Yeah, because we have a high learning skill. Okay. Yep, we did fine. Servants usher me into... Okay, hail the king. We're done. And we're going to go down this tree right here. Erudition. Skilled guests, clerical approval, and capable advisors. Because treasured knowledge plus 20% development growth, monthly learning lifestyle experiences plus 10%. So we'll take vibrant court, courtier and guest opinion plus 10, court grandeur plus 5, Better guests will be attracted. Guest recruitment cost is neg 30%. 53 days and traverse nine baronies. Thank God I can go inside. All right. And we can petition the king, but don't need to. We have a stewardship perk available. I will take tax man now because I have to. How 
powerful vassal expects council position. What are you good at? You're a good steward. Ooh, but you're not better than Roloff. Uh, man. He would actually make a better bishop than my current one, but I don't have the power to do that. Um, plus 98. We're just going to let things ride. Ah. I liked my previous... Wait, maybe that is the haircut I had. Ah, that looks kind of cool. Medium short wavy. Medium unkempt. Western warrior leg... Wait, what? Fade. I kind of like the medium unkempt. Let's go with that. Apply changes. All right. How's control looking in Twee? We're at 70. Uh, give this some time and then I want to see what kind of gold we're making. Let the month flip over to June. We're making three gold per month. Four from our domain and 0.4 from vassal taxes with 0.1 coming from the church. Excellent. The Mozarabs occupy a unique position in an Iberian society. It is unusual, then, to see one of their local merchants ask for an audience with me. We Mozarabs tend to deal with a certain degree of extra... difficulty when living our lives. She speaks evenly and without rancor, but there's clearly some steel to her words. All we want is for a small section of the cities in the county of Santiago to call our own and live among our people. No, absolutely not. You go form your own duchy or county or culture. I have come here to petition you, my lord, to see whether you might magnanimously grant us this. I will not. A small section of the cities. Oh, they're asking to set up like a little Italy. Fifty gold, twenty-five stress. What's this do for me? Development growth goes up, but construction time and costs go down. Distinct quarters. You know, I would really consider this, and I know this is what I'm about to say is anachronistic, I think is the word for it. I'm bringing something from my time into a historical time. But I saw what happened to France whenever Muslims got their own sector of the city. And that shiznit slid downhill over the years, where like even French cops can't really go in. They can, but it's at it's, it's at tremendous cultural and physical violence cost. Over time, it just became that way. It became customary that they would police their own city and you weren't allowed. You weren't supposed to be there. They would enact Sharia law and stuff like that, you know. I don't think so. That's a kingdom within a kingdom. So I'm going to say no. We're going to gain 100 piety. We are going to gain 25 stress. And I don't care what she thinks. Get out of here. Lately, it feels like I am constantly being distracted by lascivious thoughts and erotic fantasies. With all the hardships of my everyday life, it is all too easy to lose myself in daydreams and forget about reality. These desires are clearly interfering with my life, but what should I do about them? Perhaps a new view of God will help me. I spend 100 piety. Ooh, I convert to Nestorianism. In teaching that Jesus Christ has two natures, one divine and one human, Nestorianism has been declared as heretical by most Christian faiths. Despite this, its unique outlook has garnered followers in places as far east as China, India, and even Mongolia. I didn't know that before. That's interesting. Uh, well, we're not going to do that. Maybe a different kind of outlet will help. You gain the trait athletic. You lose 30 stress. 
If you're still stressed and fight, yeah, we're going to take that. Bam! And that means that over here under decisions, we can work off some stress. Let's go. I'll commission an extra hefty training axe. No, Arius, get over here. Yeah, bring Arius in. Oh, our mother died of consumption. Yep. Okay. I was waiting to see if she would get over it, and then I was going to find her a husband, but wanted to wait to see how that would go with uh, consumption. Plus one prowess, health, medium boost. Okay, good, 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 good. I'm at 19 gold, so it's going to take a while before I can even start building. This is, comparably speaking, I mentioned it last episode, this is a really slow start. But I'm okay with that. That's one of the things I like about this game, is I like to give it the time and space to unfold. Uh, we are going to go on a hunt, I think. Gosh. No, maybe not. We gotta save up some money. Are these raiders? Devon. What are you doing down here, Devon? Neutral army. What do we have here? We've been invited to a feast. Well, we should go. Because that will help reduce the stress. There are no risks. Oh, do I have to take all this? Uh, I guess I keep them. There's one minor risk. Let's go. It'll cost us three gold. That's fine. Hey, Count Gaton converted to... Count Gaton converted to the Galician culture. And our wife is pregnant. Excellent. We're up to 22 gold. Okay, off to the feast. The king will be there. Martial lifestyle experience because we've seen the Roman walls of Lugo. Uh, the road has gotten incredibly hilly the past few hours and everyone is beginning to weary. And we're delayed by 10 days. Cisnado loses 20 opinion of me. He is my caravan master. Yeah, but he's not that great. Uh, I guess I'll take his advice. That's what I'm paying him for, I suppose. Here we are. Okay, good. I didn't miss it. I was nervous about that. Countess Aramisinda has declared war. Oh, we're waiting for two more people. Oh, man, did everybody leave? Of 
Or was he sieged? Oh, man. Countess Ermacinda, you are such a troublemaker. I look forward to this. Uh, yeah, lose the stress. Actually, I think I can just give up 18 and take the opinion with everybody. We just got another daughter. Uh, Gudalonia? Uh, no, Estefania. That's a pretty name. I like that name, Estefania. Uh, let's see, you need to be educated by your mom. There we go. Uh, what a good evening. Friendship with Mayor Sebastian. And she recognizes true intellect, I see. Okay, so me and Elo have hit it off. It's a subject that fascinates me as well. Yes. Always try to make friends. Sancho. Okay, good. Uh, you're a man of your word, aren't you? You get a weak hook. To know what he is saying. Um, I think I will try to make friends. Let's cover for him. And now I shall depart. 36 stress removed. Finish the feast. Perfect. Now we need to get safely home. Oh, what is this? I've noticed that Elo avoids me more than usual. She always sits at the opposite end of the table whenever we're invited to a feast and consistently refuses my company while camping. We may not have the best of relationships, but that attitude is starting to tire me, especially when I overhear her defaming me. Herman Exildo is a loathsome bampot. I'd be a way better duke than him. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we can we can enter into direct physical combat with her. Uh, we would beat her. 100%, of course, right? She would leave our court. I mean, I, I don't want to do that. <laughs> this is a better approach. We'll take this. All right, we're back home. Now. Who are you and what are you doing here? Defender. Besieger. The County of Benevente. A Cantabrian. Must be this. This is what, I have a little bit of a hard time figuring out who's who here. Okay, he's an ally of the Countess. We're going to raise armies and help defend. Defending in hills, higher quality, more men at arms, better army commander. We caught him. What do we have here? Dangerous faction. Who is the dangerous faction? What in the world? Well, I better pull back because I'm going to need all my troops potentially.
Aha. Seventy-eight percent. No armies can be disbanded. Why not? Disband all. If I had realized this was happening, I would have let them siege him down. Oh, Duchess Hermesinda became major scholar or something or another. Jew, stop spamming me with events. While helping someone else study governance, this character learned a thing or two about the topic themselves. Plus one marshal. Major scholarly expertise, plus two. This is the one that I'm wanting to keep an eye on to see if it caps out at plus three. And then I think that would tell me that it's the mod that I got. I don't know. Nobody else seems to have that, though. Granary infestation. Vermin have infested several granaries in the county of Santiago, destroying the seed grain stored in them. With nothing to plant for next year's crops, the free tenants living there have come to me asking for aid. Given their dire situation, these farmers will ultimately be forced to accept whatever terms I offer them. I have plenty of grain should they become my serfs. Santiago increases in control which is very appealing to me, but popular opinion goes down. Take pity on them and open up my grain stores. I gain 50 stress because I'm ambitious. I gain 50 piety and 50 gold, and I get grateful free folk. Command the priest to give them charity. Whoops. Well, I think I'm going to command the priests, because I make piety pretty quick, I believe. I caught these two hiding in the pantry. A very irate cook shouts at me, dragging my son Arius and Ruhaima in tow. They stole a whole keg of meat, and Arius just sat there as Ruhaima drank herself to near oblivion, she says angrily. It seems as if my ward protected his partner in crime, keeping a lookout while abstaining from any drink himself. That's dirty. <laughs> it was very good of you to abstain from the drink. You get, the, you keep the temperate tray. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> That's the way it is. We are winning this war. The, the kingdom of Asturias is. What do we have up here? Powerful vassal, low county control, declare wars. You know what? I wonder if I just went ahead and bit the bullet. I kind of hate to do it. But if I appointed him... As my steward... Would that get rid of that faction? Vassals who cannot... Oh, there's a peasant rabble now. One member. The peasants. Low popular opinion, but I'm at plus five. Oh, it's still climbing. So we're probably going to get attacked by a peasant rabble. I feel confident we can swat that down.
We're making uh, 3.6 ducats per month now. And what will it cost? Man, we're just constantly having war declared on us. There's no rest. What is your troop count like? Oh my gosh, not very much. Swear an oath of troop. Oh, he did he die? What happened? That that. Oh look, our task is finished. To increase control in county, that's good. Uh, what happened here? I don't know. It was there for a second and then gone. We're up to 3.6 gold per month. We need to now assign our marshal to increase control in Santiago. Which might put the brakes on this faction, but the thing, it, the thing is, they're pretty high already. Can send an ultimatum in two months. Okay. It's not applicable to us. Okay, pause it. I want to see what the cost is to upgrade. Uh, I want to upgrade my pilgrim's quarters first. That's going to cost 237. It's kind of pricey. All right. Heck no. A peasant's lot is to serve their lord is what we're going to go with. Rally the troops. Raise all armies. Oh, it says there's just an even chance. No, we pretty much smashed them, which is what I was expecting. Take that guy into custody. Faction has been disbanded. Enemy combatants have been captured. Okay, disband all. Open up court. We have two prisoners. They don't have no gold. Set examples. Without being viewed as a tyrant, we're going to spend 25 piety. We're going to gain 10 dread. You have been beheaded. Ponce. Ponce's been in here for a long time. No, I don't want to behead him. He's from something else. Uh, for a hook, a weak hook. Are you worth recruiting? Oh man, melancholic, wounded. <laughs> You're not worth recruiting. Uh, bro, go live your life. Here, negotiate release. There you go. Farewell, Ponce. Oh, 
Okay, County Control is at 73, and Twee is at 100. So we're making 3.8 ducats a month now. If we zoom out, Asturias is kind of breaking up around here, it seems. Uh, this, this area. Because our king can't catch a break, man. He's spent all his manpower. He's under attack. One right after the other, multiple times. Defensive measures, yes. Fort level plus one, garrison size plus 20%. That'll work. Alba's kind of losing ground, it looks like, I think. Western France looks different. Aquitaine has split off and is the majority of the former West Francia. Uh, oh, look, uh, Bavaria has formed. I pretty much just watch Europe. I don't, sometimes I come out here and look to see if the Mongols have come up yet. Is this them? It says Kana. I don't think so. I think it'll actually say Mongol. Negotiate an alliance. I don't think so. Decline. Uh, maybe I should look at... Here, this all looks about the same. Bulgaria is quite large. The Abbasids. Um, okay, so we have a, a stewardship challenge here. I mean, looks like there's a really good chance of winning something. There's a better chance of winning something here. I trust your expertise in the area, steward. And we were successful. We lost 10 gold and gained 50 stewardship lifestyle experience. Cool. Oh, whoops. I don't know what that one said. This is us right here as Duke of Galicia. Who are you under? You are Mozarabic. Well, you're Andalusian. Mozarabic is the religion. Let me tell you a story about Alfonso. What's this? 61% we paused, we are. Ermesinda, who are you? Countess Ermesinda. That's the one that keeps causing trouble. Fifteen percent chance King Alfonso becomes your best friend. Oh, we're mediating between them. Yeah. Let's give it a shot. Oh, I disastrously harm Alfonso's reputation. That's terrible. There was a 66% chance. Never trust the percentages in CK3. I think they're lying to you. All of the time. <laughs> I think they programmed it that way. 4.1 gold per month. So we continue to climb. Here uh, in the next episode or maybe two, we should be able to start making improvements to our lands. What in the world has happened to my son Arius? He's all bruised and beaten and he refuses to name who did this to him. Was it an older child or did he pester a noble to the point of fury? It seems as even flickering shadows make him jump in fear. Oh no, man. The kid was brave. Perhaps the poor boy sees his assailant in them. He is always looking over his shoulders, always alert. He gets the trait paranoid. 
Negative one diplomacy, but plus three in intrigue. Stress gain plus 100%. That seems terrible. Shy is worse. Craven is worse. Oh, shiznit. Paranoid is a really bad trait, man. He's going to be hard to manage. But shy is terrible. Like any of the things that you do for stress, like counters you, you can't be around people. It's pretty awful. So that's unfortunate, man. He's paranoid. That's going to be hard to play. Uh, whoa, fertility plus 15% and spouse opinion plus 10. What is this? <laughs> Catablipus's horn, <laughs> a questionably shaped lump of horn, purportedly from the mythological Catablipus. Okay, fine, we'll equip it. Uh, bells and uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay. Garcia is not swayed. 4.2 ducats a month is not bad. What what improved for us? Our domain. It's because we're improving the whatchamacallit, the development. So Santiago is at eight. Twi is at five and Coruña is at five. Astorga's at 6, and Monterey's at 4. I love that this dude lost his land, and our father-in-law got it. That's... I didn't like that guy. <laughs> 140 gold, 145. Winter severity is mild. Domain continues to climb. Things seem to have calmed down a little bit. Uh, let's go back down here and check out what the county control is of Santiago. Du -du -du -du. 95. Okay, we're closing in there, we're, and then we'll move on to Coruña. Uh, it's starting to turn our way, guys. Real, real slow. Kind of like a battleship, but it is turning our way. And we're a duke. How's uh, research going? Thirty eight more years left. Okay, increase control count and county task finished. Let's get more piety. Respected clergy and chess. The bishop should be stronger. Okay. Uh, bring up our council. And assign Mayor Guillermo to establishing control over Coruña. We've climbed up to 4.6 ducats per month. Almost five from our domain. Unraised men at arms, liege taxes, expenses to court positions. Okay. So we have a total. I guess our bills cost us 2.1 ducats a month. And we're making 6.7. So that comes out to 4.6 net profit. Alrighty then. Uh, let's go ahead and save it right here. We are now a duke, the Duke of Galicia. Our father-in-law 
with our help, destroyed the Count of Monterey. Really, a lot of our help. We're the one that ones that sieged it down. But one good turn deserves another. He's the one that is responsible for defeating our father when we couldn't raise armies. So we helped each other out. He owns both these counties. We own these three. Our uh, gold per month is really starting to ratchet up. Um, we're getting close to being in position to start upgrading territories. Uh, our development has risen to nine in Santiago. We have gained control over Twi and Santiago, 100% control over each. We're working on gaining control over Coruña. Uh, we've defeated a rebel faction against us and executed its leader, beheaded them. Uh, what else? Our heir... Ooh, our heir is ill. And he developed the trait Paranoid, which is going to be... You know, that one, that plus 100% stress gain could be tough to handle. So we'll have to see how things turn out there. If he dies, I don't think he's going to. But if he does, it's Estefania that's next in line unless we have another boy. Our spouse is in favorable view of us. The rest of our council... Uh, they're doing pretty good for most of them. We're working on our bishop right now. We will turn our attention to Elo after that. Um, I have a better steward to do this job. He's, he's almost plus 30. But it's helping us a lot to have the powerful vassal in place. Plus, I think there's something somewhere that says... We gain something for every powerful vassal that we have on our council. I can't remember what that was. Um, we're about 35, 36 or 35 years away from discovering public works. Oh, excuse me, 38 years. Gaining 0.4 progress each, well, 41% chance of gaining 0 .4, 0 0.1, 0 0.4 progress each year. So I think that does it for a um, a recap. We're at 171 gold. Asturias looks okay for right now. I think we're having some trouble in this area. Um, West Francia has broken up. Bavaria has been formed. England still looks the same. Alba won its lands all back. That happened real recently. Italy looks uh the same i think maybe they've gained this area i can't remember if they had that before or not the byzantine empire looks okay bulgaria is quite large and then that's about it really the abbasids i'm just i don't know what they were before i'm just kind of making a mental note of their size right now this is all seems to be kind of broken up Okay, well, uh, that's pretty much it. Again, I'm Aesop Grimm. Thank you for coming by the channel. I hope you like what you saw. More importantly, I hope all is well in your neck of the woods. And I'll see you in the next episode, where this story continues.